Hey folks, this is Pete, and this is Pete's Eats Cooking Videos. Today we're going to be making what I call Mamma Mia Chicken or Chicken in a Tray. This is a fabulous recipe, and I know it's going to become a favorite of yours. So let's begin. This is an absolutely delicious meal, and what's so special about this meal is that it's all in one tray. If you're running late or you're a college student who really doesn't have a lot of time, but you want a delicious home cooked meal, this is the meal for you. Let's look at the ingredients. The ingredients are going to be uh, pieces of chicken. Now, I happen to chop up a whole chicken, but you can buy thighs, breasts, uh, any type of chicken pieces you want uh, that you like, your family likes, you just buy those. The main thing is, is the chicken has got to be on the bone. So this is definitely on the bone uh, chicken. Then in terms of vegetables, I put onions, potatoes, carrots, and parsnips. Those are the, uh, oh, and a little bit of garlic as well. I throw the cloves in whole, as you'll see. Now you can put other vegetables in here, but any of the softer vegetables, you're gonna wanna add to the mixture later in the cooking process. These harder vegetables, we need to cut these up and give them a lot of time to blend in with the chicken. Also, in terms of spices, I love using a whole fresh thyme in this recipe. And you'll need salt, pepper, and I mentioned this before, this her herbivore, excellent blend of spices, look into it, I'm sure you'll love it, and some white wine and butter, and away we go, let's start making it. Okay, to begin we're going to butter the tray uh, generously. I, I use my fingers, but some people don't like doing that, so what I suggest is get a piece of the butter foil, you can use the inside of that, just to mush that butter all the way around. And don't forget to get it nicely up the sides as well. We're just gonna really, really generously butter the whole tray uh, prior to putting in all the pieces, okay? So it's gonna accept all the pieces, and away you go. That way I kept my hand clean, and away you go, I'm done with that. We're gonna put the chicken pieces into the tray. Uh, with the breasts, uh, especially if they're larger, I like to cut them in half. I'll cut them in half and put them into the tray like that. Okay, I'm gonna cut up the carrots and I'm gonna cut these into fairly large pieces. Not little pieces, but big pieces because they have to sort of cook in the same time as the chicken and the potatoes. So nice big pieces of carrots. And away we go, let's throw them in. You may also notice that I'm using a different cutting board. I use the uh, two different cutting boards, one for meat and one for vegetables. I don't like to uh, mix them up. There you go, there are the carrots. Now let's do the parsnips. Parsnips are uh, pretty uh, hearty as well. I'll just cut those into big chunks. Some of the smaller ones I'll just throw right in. And away we go, there's a couple of uh, parsnips. Onions I'm going to cut into large uh, pieces as well, pretty well quartered. I'm going to quarter a medium sized onion and we'll just throw it in whole, just like that, in nice large pieces. The potatoes are a little bit trickier because you want to make sure and cut them such that they will cook and be soft uh, after the cooking time. So for a medium sized potato like that, I cut it into four. I quarter it right up throw it right in. These are uh, Yukon Gold potatoes. You can use any potatoes you want. If you like, you can buy the little round ones. They're really sweet and nice. Now the garlic. The garlic, I'll just take a, 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 a cleaned or peeled clove of garlic, and I'm just gonna give it a bit of a whack. And away you go, and I'll throw that in just like that. And another one. There we go, and throw it in. And that's the garlic. Now to add the herbs and spices. I'm gonna start with uh, some salt. So I'm gonna just put some salt over the whole tray. There we go. Then I'm gonna put some pepper. I'm gonna put a nice amount of pepper in there. And I'm gonna add some of a herbamere really nice uh, mixture of spices. And then I'm going to do the thyme. And I'm gonna just throw the thyme right across the top 
and it's gonna make this smell absolutely fabulous. And there you go. Now, white wine, I would say probably, I'm gonna just eyeball it, but I would put about a cup of white wine. Of course, it depends how much, how much uh, chicken and vegetables you have. And also olive oil. This is absolutely critical that you put olive oil in and the olive oil just nicely to coat the vegetables and the chicken. Again, probably about a quarter cup, maybe even a half cup of olive oil goes into the mixture. Let's give the ingredients a bit of a toss just to make sure everything's nicely coated and, uh, and spiced up nicely with the uh, everything we've put in there. And then we're ready to put it into the oven. And trust me, when this is the, in the oven, it's gonna light the house up with a fabulous, fabulous fragrance. You'll see, absolutely fabulous. We're gonna put this in a 350 degree oven and we're gonna put it in for about 45 minutes to an hour. But after that, after it's been in for about 45 minutes to an hour in a 350 degree oven, I'm gonna crank it. I'm gonna crank it up to about 400, 425, and I want all of those chicken pieces to get golden brown and all of those vegetables to caramelize, and so it's a really, really tasty meal. So I'll show you how that is in a minute. This has been about 45 minutes now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these pieces of chicken and the potatoes and everything, especially the chicken, and I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna just turn everything over because I wanna get the top of that chicken nice and brown. So you can feel the potatoes are still really hard, so it's gonna need some more time for sure. But nevertheless, here we go. Turn everything over and I'm gonna pop it back in. I'm gonna crank that oven up to about 425 and we're gonna really nicely get this all browned up and caramelized. You can see that there's also a lot of juice in here between these, uh, between these veggies and, uh, and the chicken pieces. That's great, that's gonna make a delicious uh, gravy or sauce if you want after. So here, I've flipped it all over. I'm gonna pop it back in, crank it up, and it's gonna be fabulous. So these pieces of chicken, they're starting to brown up nicely. I'm just gonna turn them over, give them one more to get the other side a little bit crispier. And they are gonna be absolutely fabulous. So I wanna get all these parts that are brown, I'm gonna turn them over in to the juice. And we'll move them. all the veggies, we'll get them all nicely basted. And uh, you're gonna see this is gonna be one fantastic meal. Here we go, here's the final product. It's all browned up nicely. You can see everything is browned up nicely. We've got caramelized veggies. We've got the chicken that's browned up. And you know what, there's a lot of juice in the bottom here. Now if you want, you can make a, uh, a sauce out of that juice. But what we do is we just take it right out of the tray and dip it into that sauce. And it's absolutely delicious. So that's chicken in a tray. I call it Mamma Mia chicken. It's a whole meal in one tray. You don't need anything else. Way to go. Fabulous meal, a little bit of time. Now, if you wanna see my other videos, you can see them here or here. Enjoy.